Hey, what's going on guys? It's Boy here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the new Lawbreakers update, which is patch 1.4. There's quite a bit of new stuff in this update, and it is pretty lit. So let's get into it. Alright, first of all, let's talk about the biggest additions to the game. There's now daily login awards, which is at the moment 50 credits every day you log on to the game. This is something everybody's excited for, because the only way to get credits other than this is out of stash drops, which is really slow, because, you know, you just get kicks and stickers all the time. I got credits like one out of five I open, and now people can actually get enough credits to like buy the skins. Another big feature is more matchmaking options. According to the patch notes, which I'll be putting on screen, Players will now have the following options to queue for. Objectives, which put you in matches of only the objective-based game modes. Skirmish, which is the new one. This is Team Deathmatch at the moment, but it's a limited time game mode. I'm not sure how often they're going to change the skirmish, but for now it's TDM. I would assume they're probably going to change it, though, like every week or so. Maybe every two weeks. I don't know. The only bad part about this is the map, though. There's only one map you can play. It's pretty bland and plain, as you can see by the recording. I also find it hard to get kills in this mode, but I think it's just because I'm like used to objectives and going out with classes is pretty hard, especially with like, if it's like, it's a really open map, so like Wraith and stuff, it just wasn't working for me. The third option players have to, have to queue for is quick match. All this is, is it's the fastest way to find a match, it'll put you in any lobby, objective, or a skirmish, it just puts you in the fastest lobby it'll find. I also noticed custom games, which is just where you can like host your own lobby of any map, any game mode, any rules, and invite your friends. This is pretty good, especially for like actual teams playing against each other. The team, the developer team is like working towards ranked as the next game mode, and I think that's going to bring a lot of people to play the game more because that gives them something to like work for other than just quick play and stuff. But until then, at least we have more than just quick play, like custom games and skirmishes and stuff. Another big addition to the game this update, possibly the best one, is the new map, Nansan. Correct me if I'm saying that wrong, but I think I'm saying it right. I'll be showing a bunch of footage on screen right now that I took in a custom match, and as you can see, the map looks sick. It's by far my favorite one so far, because like, I like all the vibrant colors and plants. All the other ones just didn't feel like this one. I feel like the developers put so much detail on this map, because like everywhere I went, there was something different. The graphics were like a lot better, there was a lot more detail, and like there everywhere you went there was like a story behind it and different sound effects to match it it was like a good ambience there's actually if i like if you go around and like look at the posters and signs and stuff you see like the story behind the map and like all this stuff it's it's crazy you can also see there's like these locket things which takes you to the next level really it's just hard to notice all this because the map like when you're playing on the map it's fast paced you're just trying to get kills and go for the objective because it's an arena shooter and you don't notice all this when you're like just playing the game. As far as the gameplay goes in the map, it's a lot of fun. The map actually has no zero G areas, which means it's up to players to make their own because some characters have like abilities that create zero gravity. I really like how there are these like boosters as well though, which move the player straight from their spawn into the fight. I think I have footage of this right now. It's on both spawns, so like it, it's really evened out on the map. And objectives play very well in this because say you're playing like turf war, both teams can spawn in, go on those boosters and just start fighting right away. One more thing I'm going to talk about for combat is the health system. They've changed it a lot. First of all, the health was increased for every rule. I'll be putting a screenshot on the changes to each character's health on screen right now. Another big thing that they've added as far as combat is automatic health regen for all the rules. But this happens after you're like out of combat. I'll show footage of me testing this out with the Wraith. I don't know exactly what like the rate of regen is, but I know it takes a little bit out of combat for it to start. You have to like, it felt like three to five seconds after you were fighting someone, your health would start regening. Personally, I think this is a good implementation to the game because it makes everyone last longer out on the battlefield rather than just going out, dying, going out, dying over and over again. It makes it more convenient for players to heal because they don't have to worry about running back to the nearest health station every single time they're in a fight. The system has been working out for me so far. Some people, though, like on Reddit, have been complaining about it. One more thing that they've added along with this is a group spawning system, which basically means you will spawn with teammates more often instead of solo. I will end this off with some of the more random additions slash improvements. The sandbox tutorial has seen several improvements. The game now shows tips during matches. They have combined the end of match personal results and scoreboard screen into new results screen, which gives you all the information and looks a lot more clean. 
They've also improved stability of the client and server and fixed issues with this connection. They made a bunch of small minor changes to most of the roles in this update just to balance out combat more. I'm not going to be reading all these, but I'll put the link in the description so you can check it out if you're interested. I hope this video helped out anyone who plays Lawbreakers to give them a bit more info and depth on the newest update. This video took quite a bit of time, so a like or comment would be really appreciated. If you're new, maybe even consider subscribing to my channel. Next Friday, the World War II beta for PC will be open, and that means I'm definitely going to have a video for that. Me and my friends can't wait to grind out the new COD when it comes out, so I'm excited to make videos on it. Anyway, that's going to be pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.